A very good evening to all of you joining us this Monday evening at 9 p.m., which goes every Monday evening at uh, ITN and on Wasselam TV and on Prime Television as well. Now, today we have with us in our studios two prominent personalities from the music industry. Now, they released their take on an all time classic from Sri Lankan music and they are here to talk about their release of the song and their cover of the song. So allow me to welcome Pia Pereira from the Gypsies and Arjun as well. Hi. Welcome to the show Hi. and thank you for Hi. being here. Thank you. So how are the two of you doing? Let's start by that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So I'm good actually. Um, I've been a fan of the Gypsies as a kid. So I mean, mm. to be, be to doing a song with one of the absolute Stars of Sri Lanka is an honor for me, so good, good to be here with him. Yeah, same. Yeah, but it's a big honor for me also. And Ravi Disilo uh, called me and said that Pial Arjun wants to do this song. Mm. I thought it was uh, great for us to combine. Okay, we have a very big age gap, so. <laughs> Two generations <laughs> not that, not, not coming that big. together, isn't it? Two generations exactly. coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, overall, I'm very happy the way it has come out. So, this overall, the it's song, a it's very, to me, I always find very difficult to uh, do a remake or change or do something for a song that has been very popular for because it's so much uh, engraved, engraved, like, yeah, so mm -hmm. like, so you, it's very difficult to change and you don't know where to change. But Arjun did a fantastic job about and it. And you took that leap of faith in trusting him yeah, to do yeah, a wonderful yeah. take as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think obviously that the essence of the song, I mean, the, the kind of the, the, the chorus and the, and the kind of singular lyrics, we, we kind of merged with a bit of English kind of R&B sort of Beautiful. vibes that brought my sort of flavours to it. And we had a, had a, a cool mix, I think. Yeah. Good, good so mixture. Let me ask before we get into how, this, how the two of you all agreed on this, mm. what is the story behind? This song, yeah. What do you mean by story behind me? The meaning. What is oh, you know, yeah. thirty years ago? Oh, it was a simple thing though. At, at that time, when I wrote this song, yeah. my lyric writer, hmm. we were actually in Ham, uh, Mahayangane. At that, oh, we okay. were playing for a concert in Mahayangane. Right. I think it was Gamuda or something like that. Okay. So the, we were talking about this Vedas, and Mahayangane is favorite for Vedas. Yeah. So we were having a lot of chats about this Vedas, asking people what are the Vedas still living here, yeah. what are they doing, and all so many things are talking. We are talking, and uh, on our way back, actually, I got into the back of the bus because our lyric writer was also, he was the announcer there. He was the okay. one who was doing the MC, he was the okay. So I said, uh, "Come, let's go back. We have uh, something to discuss." Then I was telling him, "Shall we have? To, shall we write a song about this uh, Vedas?" Then he said, "Yeah, right. nobody has written." And then I said, we will try to get a story like this because I have read so many stories how people go to jungles and get, they get lost, mm. that kind of story. Mm. So then <laughs> I, <laughs> from all this, when we were going to kids, I have heard that kind of story. Then I said, we'll go, go like this. And he didn't go home, that lyric writer. Okay. He came with me home that night and he slept with me the next morning because sometimes when you have some ideas in your head, yeah. you have to put it into yeah. practice immediately. <laughs> yeah. 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 If, it, if it takes too long, yeah. because now, of course, we can put everything on our phone. If you get idea, no, it's, but those days we didn't have any of those. Yeah. So then you had to write then and there. Yeah. So we so wrote a little bit on the bus. It's the next morning we got up and wrote the whole thing. So this was about 30, 35 years ago. 35 years ago, exactly. So coming back. 90s, wrote, right? No, 80s. 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 Wow. Oh so now coming wow. back into 2023. <clears throat> how did you want? Why? Why did you choose this particular song? Right. So for me, I mean, as a kid, I used to hear this song at every party, every mm. gathering. Is my favorite song. So actually, it's, it's a kind of like a, a surreal feeling to be yeah. making the song again with the actual original singers. And uh, yeah, as, as a kid, I used to I used to be in Sri Lanka every summer. I'd come for like three months to Sri Lanka, and I'd, I'd hear this song on repeat. And we'd be dancing to it in my aunt's bedroom and mm -hmm. at my friends' houses. And it's my first singular song that I'm doing. So actually, I mean, my, my kind of uh, previous previous songs have been more Hindi, uh, Indian kind of fusion songs. Based based in the UK, there's a big Indian market there. So kind of yeah. growing growing my kind of following mainly in the Indian market, uh, done Hindi, Tamil, Punjabi, but not singular, so this is my first ever singular song. I'm this is your first? First official oh Sinhalese yeah, song. That's so, great. I mean, I'm singing two lines, of, I mean, he's singing singular, I'm singing English mainly, but I have no, a few, still, few elements of singular yeah. here and there. But for me, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually half, half, I'm half Tamil, half Singhalese, so being able to bring that kind of side Cultural of me out. Cultural fusion. Cultural, exactly. Yeah. So for me, 
it, again, it's an honor just being here with him. And uh, the, the, I mean, it's been a long process. Same it's a huge honor for me to work <laughs> with him. Yeah, it's yeah, going so we started we started working this about a, about a year ago. No? Yeah, about a year ago. And it's been yeah. a, we we had a, for quite a I mean getting getting it right because it's a very very kind of epic song. Mm. You can't kind of can't yeah. ruin the original yeah. version. So I mean, yeah. the, we've had about 50 different versions. We've yeah. done mixes again and again. We shot the, the video. We've been doing the, the editing again and again. So we kind of finally got the final product ready. The final mix. And yeah, so we're good to go. He's also just like me. Very <laughs> perfectionist. Never happy. Never. <laughs> Never happy. A, a true musician is always like yeah. that. Yeah. I think. But always our taste like is very similar. So yeah. whatever I thought yeah. about the mix, he would think the exact same. <laughs> that thing. was the best part. Thing. Was that this yeah. part was that? Yeah. No, I listened it and I'll, I'll, I'll send him a message. I think here it that could happens. be loud. Yeah. The, mm. Each time you listen yeah. to it more, you think, okay, this yeah. might. So the other thing, both of us were thinking the same yeah. way. Every time and we. He was in mix. England, but I was here. <laughs> but, <laughs> but both yeah. of us were thinking the same way. So then, when, the moment I tell him, then he sends me say, yeah. I also felt the same. So exactly. then you feel really good that somebody, mm. it, both that, of us, that, that both are uh, the same. Yeah. 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 So I mean, I think the, I mean the key is to keep that kind of organic kind of guitars and live instrument yeah. feel. Yeah. The Gypsies are obviously a live band, so I mean their yeah. their their vibe is obviously very very kind of real, authentic kind of mm. live music. Yeah. Yeah. My my vibe is a bit more kind of, I guess, synthesized and, and beat yeah. driven. So kind of bringing those two together, we want, we want to keep the guitars and the horns and the brass section, but also bring in. So, you know, a, a, a more heavy bass, but a yeah. bit more kind of the groove. kicking. Yeah, groove, yeah. exactly, groove. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was a fun mix. Yeah. I think yeah. I think we, we kind of, we actually kind of went, I mean, our, our taste is very similar though. I think in terms yeah. of what we had a vision for the song was mm. very, very similar, so yeah. Now what yeah. were the challenges you all encountered? I'm sure it wasn't an easy ride as because, well. Because challenge was, for, I, I was wondering how can I do this? I'm so old and he's so young. <laughs> how can I do this song no, with but him? But when you listen to the song, it's brilliant. You can't say mm. that at all. Yeah, so it, it, was, it was a big challenge for me actually mm. to do, do the song with him. Mm. I was wondering like, I mean, how can I do this with him? But it, it came out really well. Mm. Came out really well. I'm very happy with the song. The way, because actually, Arjun did the whole Music beside he, I mean he arranged it the way everything, and uh, the whole thing was done by him. So, so no, but no, what do you mean the whole thing? The music was done in. So we no we, we had a Sri Lanka? producer here, Tushit, and Hasan as well who helped us. Out okay. of so we actually had had a team who worked yeah. on it, but kind mm. of the overall vision was obviously kind of a, a collaboration. I, I'd right. say all of us. I mean, yeah, yeah. Being, so it was mostly recording. He's being modest. Music. He actually yeah. was involved. In no, all I, was, <laughs> I was involved in mixing <laughs> and all that stuff, yeah, but yeah. the whole. I, I didn't want to get involved in the uh, like the changing of the song of the, how okay. to change and all because I thought I might influence the same thing again. Mm -hmm. So but mm -hmm. then Arjun and Hasin and uh, Tusit, no? Tusit, yeah. Yeah, they got together and they have done a fantastic job because they, they have. I love the changes and I love his parts. I love his parts. Mm -hmm. The English parts Thank he has you. sung. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Is there any particular part of the song which is your favorite? Um, for me, I mean the original song is. Is, is the best. So I mean, I mean, I, I think kind of bringing bringing that kind of that original. I think there's one chorus which, which we sing together, harmonies oh, together. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. a nice moment. I think that having yeah. both of us at the same time singing is a nice part of the song. Yeah. So, yeah. what about the music video? Yeah, video was quite an ordeal. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I'm from the UK, so I'm used yeah. to very very. No, any plans cold on that as well? Oh yeah, so that's that's. Been released as well, so that, that yeah. actually um, was shot in the jungle. We shot it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, so that, that's what I want to know. Was it? Uh, how was the process for that? Like, what was it like? It was quite an ordeal because we, it was like an 18-hour shoot. We started like uh, crack of dawn in, morning, yeah. in the middle of the, of the jungle. So, for me, I'm obviously from the UK, used to the cold weather. This was super hot. It was in August, right? Yeah. Or July yeah. or August? Uh, was it I July? Think anyway, July, it, was, yeah. it was it was in a hot hot time, and it was a uh, it was a very long shoot mm. and. PR was very patient. We had to. We had to there, was, there was snakes and <laughs> yeah, monkeys thing, yeah. and. But what was the location? Sanamal Villa. Right. Yeah, it's a. Yeah. 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 I mean, huge jungle. But, I, mean, I was. I was really scared of the snakes. And the moment <laughs> I went there, somebody said, "Ye, ye, So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that video was obviously shot in the jungle. So like, I think the, the shooting of the music, the video would have been more tougher than the audio. I think. Hmm? Probably. In, in both different ways. Both more physical. Different ways, yeah. yeah. It was an ordeal, honestly, because yeah. I was sweating the whole day. I didn't stop sweating. Um, I mean, there was no. No toilets anyway, we had to walk like mm. miles to find a toilet yeah, somewhere yeah, and yeah. come back. So the sh shoot took a long time. Yeah. I think we finished at like midnight or midnight, after midnight. But after, but one o'clock or one thirty. Yeah, yeah. You finished morning. it in a day? Yeah, within a day, yeah. One day, yeah. 
It started around 5 o'clock, I think, 5 o'clock or something in the morning. Mm. So it's almost a day, whole day. Mm. But uh, it, it's good. Uh, this Hassan also did a fantastic job. Hassan is the, yeah. it, the director yeah. of the yeah. video. Right. Yeah. So he did a great job. Yeah, he is right. yeah, he's a good really And you all have a great manager as well, Ravi. Ravi De Silva, of course. Yep. Yeah. The one who's right out. here. I wish he's the reason we're here. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. collaboration yeah. wouldn't yeah. happen without he him. Did, yeah. Yeah, oh, he was the one who. He was the one who made the connection. Right. So how how did you how was this how did this start? You know how did you? Ravi handles all my all my work in Sri Lanka. He's my yeah. Manager here. He also yeah. manages PLs. Yeah. My device. my personal the band thing, my individual work he Ravi handles. So mm. so I mean I, I don't know how it does. Sometimes you can't understand how things how work things out. work. But it works out for uh, the best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the timing was great because I I just met him and I mentioned that I, I wanted to do this remake. And the and, rest was all. And then he said, oh, well, oh, obviously I work with PR as well, so it worked out really well. So <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, um, we, I mean we 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 gel together. That's the main thing. When you are doing something, you have to gel together. That's why yeah. they say great minds think alike. Yeah, but he's <laughs> very humble. I, I, I've not met. I mean, huge star. And he's, he's so humble and so easy to work with. So yeah. Now, just want to know: Did the gyps, did the band also play in this? No, the whole track was uh, done by. Okay. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the band will. Yeah, we'll play, we'll play, we'll play, we'll play it now. Play. <laughs> all right. So, do you, do you, will you all be having maybe a show or something where the two of yeah, new people no, will be no, seeing yeah, the two of you singing live? Mm, that's just, the plan. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the plan, he yeah. performs every every day in Sri Lanka practically. <laughs> My aim is to come and and try and do a concert, and hopefully, you know, we'll yeah, perform. The we want to do a few concerts after that. This is not the end. Like we want to go forward, and we have, we have to have a lot of planning. Yeah, and it's Robbie not easy. Also, we can do mm. some concerts. Both of we can go all over Sri Lanka sure. with this song, and maybe go to India as well because yeah. he's, he's so popular in India and other places. So we can. Uh, do some yeah you have been to US a lot yeah, yeah. Times, you know? I think yeah. I think this the song has I think the world is now shrinking so I mean any any sound can work yeah globally there's Af African music there's Spanish music there's mm -hmm. Korean there's K-pop music there's Hindi I think Singhala I mean there's been a there's been a huge uh, a hit there. it mm -hmm. was huge in India yeah for example yeah I think there's there's now global sounds that can work anywhere so Singhala can work in India can work in America can work in UK so the aim is to try and push it uh, worldwide as well. All right. Yeah. Recently, yeah. actually, about two days back, I think. Mm. Uh, uh, what's the song? The Chalea. What's the, what's the song? Chalea. Chalea. Chalea, no? Yeah. So now he had done a version with English lyrics. I, I, I mm. couldn't listen to it because I was busy in Oman. Mm. Uh, yeah, and Shah Rukh Khan has commented on that. Yes, we are going to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. I did not miss that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arjun, let me ask this question to you. Uh, Let's ask, you know, I think people will also want to know you have a very strong hand in singing and mm. also producing. Yes. How did this start, you know, at a young age? What what yes. was your journey like? I think it's my mum who, right. who is the reason why I, I, I began to play music. I, 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 was in, I was in a bunch of bands. I was in a rock band. Uh, I was in a jazz band. I used to play the guitar, the piano, the you drums. You went through the entire... Every genre, <laughs> no. pretty much, yeah. So I, I was always around music um, in the house. Uh, mainly Western, actually, more like more kind of jazz and soul and R&B music. Um, then I kind of grew up with a lot of Indian people, so Bollywood was, a, you know, a huge factor for me because everyone around me was was Indian. All my mm. girlfriends were Indian, all my friends were Indian. So um, yeah, and then obviously Tamil was in my blood, obviously, but my dad is Tamil. So actually, yeah. the song that kind of blew me up in it originally was was actually a cover of a Tamil song, mm. Why This Color Very Deep. Um, but actually, my mum is a singer of mix. So I actually, this I mean, this song is you know the, the first time I've actually dared to sing in. A single, I mean, my, my accent, is, as you can as you can tell, is pretty bad. My, my singular is nice. okay. It's getting better, <laughs> but it's it's not amazing. So I mean, yeah, it's a bit of a risk to try and I mean, it's mainly him singing singular, and I'm, I'm singing English. But uh, for me, just the kind of it's, it's always been about that fusion. I love yeah. to mix English with with Hindi, with 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 singular, with Punjabi, with Tamil, with Spanish. Mm. So it's, I think that fusion is as what's kind of define my sound. You do a lot of rhythm and blues as well, right? Exactly, mm. yeah, R&B, yeah. So, Pial, as a veteran in the show business industry, in the music industry, from where you started uh, years ago yeah. and to where you are now established as a prominent figure, how do you think the industry has changed in music for young musicians? Yeah, it has changed a lot, I mean. <coughs> uh, we started music 50 years ago, so I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm in the band for the last 50 years, so it's a long, long, long time. Mm. I can't explain exactly how it uh, has changed, but uh, there's a huge change, big change. 
Today with the technology people are using and everything, those days when we were recording we had only two tracks and four tracks only to record. So we used to play the band together at one track, so then the other tracks we always, that's, I mean we didn't have enough tracks to record. It was all manual. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's, that's all we had, but from time to time it became 16 track, it became 24 track. When we had the 24 track machine, we thought this is the ultimate thing, <laughs> nothing will go beyond this. But today there are so many things you can do in recording and all that. But at the same time, even in performing and uh, creating music also. I mean, uh, I'm happy there are, there are lots of young talent, there are lots of young talent. Today there are so many young people who are very talented. Mm. So it's, that's a good sign. Sri Lanka has a lot of even guitar players and all that. Some people, young people, they're playing un unbelievable. Yeah. So that's a good sign. That's a very good thing. What about you? What do you think of the industry now? Um, I agree. I think it's, it's changed. I mean, even from when I began, there's, there's been a huge shift towards TikTok and Instagram. Mm. And there's, I think as an artist, it's hard to kind of balance, you know, doing songs like this where we do a full campaign with, with a PR campaign versus every day putting out content. I think you have to always be kind of, kind of be relevant online. I think he's lucky because he, he's, he's a legend now. I think he's been around for a long time. Everyone knows him. But for a new artist to kind of build that fan following, I think TikTok is now the key. I think TikTok, Instagram, mm. Facebook, um, constantly putting out content, you know, covers, mashups, you know, acting videos, whatever. I think that's that's. The, the, I think the challenge is trying to try, try and build a brand in today's world where there's so much to look at and to see and to hear. It's ha hard to stand out. I think for like a new singer now, to kind of build that fan following is, I think, is harder than it used to be. In yeah, the, yeah. In the, in the that's day. true. Yeah. That's true. I 100 percent agree with Arjun on that. As a new singer, yeah. to create that brand is so difficult today. So difficult. Mm. But yeah. uh, those days, like. Uh, I don't know whether it was uh, because less songs were coming or whatever. Yeah. Now today, even when you look at Clarence Jordan's songs and all that, they are sung everywhere, wherever you see Fernando, wherever you go. Mm. But do you think the, over the years we will mm. lose that sound? You know, it's a world has changed. The yeah. world has changed. It's not mm. only Sri Lanka. The world has changed. As Arjun says, mm. it's very difficult to market songs to not like those days. Exactly. I yeah. still remember Ujjayi first we played as performed as a live band. Live band means out. Soon after we released, or we, before we released, it was in I, at ITN. ITN we yeah. performed Doja first time. Full it was Vedas, everything, and, and Sunil yeah. was doing this, the, the dance. And the first time we performed Doja, I think it was a Sunday. Mm. You won't believe next next day, Monday, you mm. couldn't go anywhere, people were talking about it. Mm. Wow. it. It was like that, it, uh, because there were not many channels also at that time. Yeah. And people were talking about next day itself. Mm. But today, to get a song, to get Popular, it's so so hard, mm. so difficult. There's WhatsApp, Facebook, uh, then YouTube, everything, and you think uh, with this it will go to people faster, but it doesn't. It, mm. it doesn't happen like that. Plus, I think I think songs don't last. So songs songs don't last, in the yeah. eighties and nineties would last for decades, for a long yes. time, for That's years. Right, yeah. Now, next month, new song, new song. Like I know people forget and about the song. You know, it's you're one of the very few artists I've seen. Mm. Um, you know, with this take on a single a classic you're really preserving mm. the original sound as well which is Trying really to. nice because yeah, as yeah. you mentioned every beat has a new song yeah. so it's nice mm. to know that you know young people are preserving yeah. Uh, yeah. you know some, some such classics as well I, I agree yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I think what happened those days was maybe I can't understand what it is uh, because the thing is now people I think listen to our song not only us I mean uh, songs at that time mm. more I, I do because maybe they had more time so mm -hmm. like that, whatever, because they are, now everybody's on the phone all oh, the time, yeah. all yeah. the time. So they don't they don't listen to much music. Mm. Yeah. But when we release this Ojai cassette and Rude also, there are people we, we had our shop at our home also at Palana. Mm. There are some people coming by five five cassettes, five cassettes because it was so cheap and there were forty rupees mm. four mm. songs. So they my, buy five. my father was watching this one. My father asked one person. Why do you want five cassettes? Uh, why are you buying five cassettes? Then he said, no, Mr. Vera, this, you know, I have one for home, mm. one in my car, <laughs> one in my office, and one for the children. And when the children break one, then I have another extra one. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the thing is, that means he's one in office, one in car, one in home, yes? yeah. they are listening to that same song so many so times. Many times. Mm. Then exactly. it goes. But, yeah. but today, it just, I don't know, today people don't listen like that. Mm. Yeah. 
so it's available I think, through I, I think there's too much there's too much content I think there's yeah. like an overload exactly. and there's so much to look at so, so much to see yeah. there's sport music you know Everything film whatever yeah, and it's Netflix and it's all and all, all available all the yeah. time yeah. before you'd have to wait for a certain time at 9 p.m. to watch a TV show <laughs> now you can watch it anytime <laughs> anywhere on your phone on a device so I think there's too much I think it's too much too much different, different things are happening tend yeah. to get overwhelmed yeah I think for a song to to last now is very hard I think back in the day Look at the you know the 80s 90s those songs, and they still yeah, remain yeah, to this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. We still hear them in, in parties and weddings and you know yeah, Ojaya, yeah. songs like this. Yeah. Every kid knows this song. Like even the kids are, yeah, and yeah. who weren't even born probably when it was mm. released yet. You know they, they they wouldn't have heard a song that that was released this you know this year but by someone else. I think, I mean credited to them for building that legacy and having songs that lasted that that long as well. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like that all over the world also, it's like that, I think. I mean, those days like Abba and... Michael Jackson, uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, they are, yeah. they are, Their songs were like, I mean, they've been for a long time, even today they are popular. Yeah. But yeah, it true. won't happen yeah. hereafter, because mm -hmm. I, I think, I also mm -hmm. think they, now popular songs come and yeah. they go There's a few out. artists like Adele, who people yeah, like, yeah, yeah. might last a few years, yeah, or Ed yeah. Sheeran maybe. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Most, uh, most songs that are made today are not heard in the next year, t two years from now, you yeah. don't really hear yeah, them. Yeah, so. yeah. Yes, That's true. Mm. Now, um, what is the story, Arjun, on Shah Rukh Khan? <laughs> what is this? You're going viral. <laughs> Let's so, hear it. Um, yeah, so I did, I did a cover of a song from his, his new film, Jawan, which is Shah Rukh Khan's new movie, and it, an English mashup of the, of the song, and he, and he shared it. That was, that, that's basically it. So it wasn't that, that massive a deal, but, but people seem to be... it's going viral, yeah, right? I didn't realize how big Shah Rukh Khan's fan... I think he's a huge star. I think that, that surprised me how big he is yeah, here yeah, in Sri Lanka. Yeah. I, obviously in India, I know how big he is, but... I'm surprised how big Hindi music has become in Sri Lanka now. I think it's a huge market. You, you were telling yeah, me this. Yeah, actually, Hindi, Hindi music is always like, uh, people love Hindi music. I mean, because the, the melodies are so nice. I agree, yeah. And the language is also very it's musical. Very dramatic. Yeah, yeah. You know, very, it's very emotional yeah. sometimes. The movies are emotional. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see that Hindi, Hindi coming here, singular going there with this uh, Manike. And so I think there's yeah. cross-cultural kind of, what's mm. the word? Fusion happening, so yeah. Mm. So now you're in Sri Lanka for a, for a very few days. When yes. are you coming back again? So aim is to come back in December. We're gonna try and yeah. you know. For about three months. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no time. Probably not. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, my, my kind of fan base is, is quite spread. So it's mm. mainly kind of U.S., Canada, U.K., Australia. So I like him right. enough to keep touring, unfortunately. But uh, Sri Lanka has always been home for me. I, I was born in Sri Lanka, funny enough. But um, that means you should be spending more time here. I should be, <laughs> and I will be. I think. I think after this song, the aim is to try and uh, spend <laughs> yeah. more time here. So my my family are here more. So yeah. yeah, the aim is to try and spend at least two three months a year in Sri Lanka. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna leave it up to the two of you to please give our viewers a fresh take mm -hmm. and a raw take. I know we don't have the instruments and all of that, but I think they would love to hear. A few yeah. lines of the song. Okay, we'll sing the chorus. Yeah. No sing issue, it. no issue. Yeah, we'll sing the chorus. It's just chorus that you all can't the, leave until you all sing. sing, and, sing okay. and, uh, and then we'll sing in English. No yeah. issue. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 you take my breath away, need you here with me, makes me wanna say. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so if you're watching us at home, this is your time to clap. And my uh, favourite line of the song, I really sing, but... Oh my favourite line of the song. Would you be mine? I'm coming down on my knees. That's my favourite uh, line. Okay. <laughs> That's, That's Arjun's line. Yeah. Well, Arjun's line. Check it out yeah. on YouTube and hear the whole song. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them Spotify where it's available. Yeah. Uh, YouTube is yeah. the main one, so go have a look on that. Check on Instagram, Facebook, you name it, everywhere. You can find it online anywhere you want to you find it. <laughs> All right, now we have um, a few questions from the public for the two of you. Um, so, Arjun, one person has asked, mm. will you be releasing more music with the Gypsies? I hope so. We, we, we hope so. I mean, he's, he sent me a few other songs of that catalogue, which, which are all awesome. Mm. So maybe next year we'll, we'll look at doing some more yeah, stuff yeah. for, for live shows as well. So, yeah. I mean, the, the catalogue is, is extensive, uh, yeah. you know, decades of music, so for sure. Yeah. All right. When is the next Gypsies concert? Actually, we are playing for... <laughs> We do play for a lot of... They perform every, every day. I know, every, every but I'm, week. I'm doing my job <laughs> yeah, yeah. asking you the question. We do, at the moment we have been doing a lot of weddings and we have been playing for a lot of uh, like uh, 
like simple Shows. dances, dances yeah. and all that, but not many concerts. Do you plan on having like yeah, we are an having, evening we are, of we are the having a, We are trying to do a concert, to concert. We are get, trying to get into concerts as well, mm. and uh, and maybe next year, uh, I, middle of next year, I want to do a concert for 50 years uh, like that. Then bring all the old, mm. uh, all the musicians who have been there. So maybe uh, that will be a hit. Yeah, so, mm. so next year. Yes. Next is 50. 50 years. The 50, no, we are already 55 years, but uh, oh. so, so, okay. so <laughs> I want to say 55 or 50 plus or whatever, and do a concert. That's my dream actually too. Before I stop the band or whatever. Stop so, the band. Yeah, gypsies. I mean, I can't go on forever. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not you can. Can. It's, it's too tiring now. So I mean, I will go for at least one or two years. That's a different yeah. thing. But uh, so there has to be a day for everything, like all the cricketers retire. To like retire. That we also, have, <laughs> we also yeah. have time to retire. So, but I will be doing solo, and my manager is there, Ravi. So he's I right solo, here. Uh, I really wish uh, he could pop in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> doing a brilliant job. Yeah. Isn't yes, it? yes, yeah. Yeah. So actually, we must thank him for uh, yeah. this Ojai song because he was the kapua. <laughs> for this marriage, he was a couple for this man. Couple, you know, no matchmaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Arjun, this question is for you. Uh, you have a strong social media presence. How do you deal with hate? Hmm. Good question. Very good question. Um. Tend to ignore it. I don't actually check hmm. everything anymore. I used to okay. get very offended back when I first started, maybe ten years ago. I used to read comments and be like, I want to respond and get angry back. But now, honestly, it doesn't really phase me as much as it used mm. to. Um, yeah, I think I think it's it's part and parcel. I mean, it's actually the the, big, the bigger you get, the bigger your presence is, the more yeah. you hate you're going to attract. That's right. Yeah. The, the formula usually. So, I would just say ignore it if you can. That's what the best. about you, Pia? How would you? Same thing. That? Yeah, no, not to respond. Not to respond. Not to respond. Stay silent no, and yeah. just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to respond because no that's need. the worst thing. If you respond, you had it. Yeah. yeah. You, have, you have to just be ignore. Yeah. That's the main thing. Kind of person who sits at home on their phone and sends hate to someone is probably you know unhappy themselves. So it's probably probably there. Yeah. Yeah. It's their own. <laughs> I call their them own keyboard warriors. Keyboard warriors. Right. So <laughs> you shouldn't yeah. you shouldn't indulge them by getting yeah. in, getting involved. That's what they want. So yeah. But now Sunil, when 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 Sunil was living, yeah. uh, like Arjun says, when somebody's the bigger you are, the more more you get that kind of thing. Exactly. So yeah. Sunil was getting I mean, filth. Being yeah, single, yeah. filthy is very bad. Not like English yeah. filth. Single filth is bad. First time English filth. So Sunil was getting real bad filth. On, but only the good thing was, he never had a mobile phone. He didn't mm. know about TikTok or WhatsApp or he doesn't know any damn things. That's all. He never had a mobile phone. He never, never carried. He always used to give my phone number if somebody <laughs> wants to. Yeah. So. You were doing Ravi's job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so he didn't know what was going on. He didn't know yeah. somebody's calling him or he doesn't know. Mm. But he, he goes, that's the main You must avoid. That's, that's, yeah. I really like how you worded that. Mm. So, Arjun, any plans on heading into the Bollywood industry as a full time actor? Actor, um, I would say no because my acting skills are very bad. <laughs> so as we no, can, you can't see that in, in Ojai. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I all these videos you must see. Yeah. No, I think. Well, I mean, and the takes videos me are very visually pleasing to the oh, eyes. Thank I you. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I think. I mean, my passion is singing. So I mean, if, if I was just to kind of, I think, I think in India, the the kind of holy grail is, is, is acting. It, 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 yeah. Shah Rukh Khan's and Salman Khan's. I think they are the kind of gods of the of India. But um, I'm not really chasing fame. I'm chasing what I love to do, which is to sing. Right. Yeah, so I mean, if right, I was yeah. to kind of act, and you know, it wouldn't really be my actual passion. It's something that mm -hmm. I would just be doing for the sake of, of fame. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily make that my my priority. But if if, if, the, if a role comes along where I can be a singer, I can play myself, maybe. Yeah. Then maybe. But singing actor. Yeah. Hmm? Like a very like a very basic role. I can maybe. Maybe do. Like I, a I actually have. I actually have acted in a few uh, random things in the UK. Mm. But um, they weren't great, so yeah, maybe don't don't, don't well, search for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so let's move on into more questions now. Apparently, mm. now uh, well, from what I know, mm. you're working on something, and then COVID hit for Sri Lanka for the Sri Lankan market. That might have been this. Was it this? What, what, yeah, I think think so. Was it this, Ravi? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, Was that when the yeah, maybe it's a concert. I'm not sure. Yeah. Are you planning a concert in Sri Lanka? Of course, yes. Yeah, we, uh, we want to let this song go a little bit, and he's planning other songs also. There are lots of mm. other single songs he's planning to mm. do. Yeah. So this, why hopefully this will be in December. 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully. I mean, yeah. the aim is to try and release a few more songs in the in the, in the yeah, that's sing, the singular yeah, market. Yeah, singular market, we should have more songs. Yeah, so obviously my main kind of catalogue is, is more Hindi and Punjabi and Tamil. So the aim is to do some more singular, singular songs, songs and then hopefully do a, a big show. Will that be fusions or do you plan on taking that risk in singing? Uh, one of the songs I'm singing quite a lot of singular. So Ravi has forced me to sing a, a full verse in, in singular in the, in, the, in the third song we released. That's a smart move. Yes. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see how it goes. We have to see the results. I mean, my, my single is okay. I think, I mean, it's, yeah. It's you okay. can't complain. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. All right. Um, let's also ask producing. Mm. We didn't talk about that. So yes. apart from mm. you, you know, singing, is yes. producing also a full-time thing? Or yeah, so, I mean, do you indulge in any other hobbies when during I your free time? First started music, I actually produced everything myself. So everything from the... Alone? Alone, yes. So mm. all the, you know, production meaning like, you know, composing the music. So the piano, the guitar, whatever is required, the strings, or, you know, the piano is how, how songs are constructed. Mm. So kind of orchestration and composition and production, that was like my kind of, actually my main passion, not singing yeah. as much. Really? Um, and then I got busy with touring and obviously being an artist, I kind of took over and then I kind of, I, I still produce quite a lot, mm. but it's more usually in, in conjunction with someone else, like a team sort of thing. Um, that, like this song, for example, we, you know, we all work together, but I think uh, time is, uh, like, uh, touring is very tiring, as, as you know, he was in Oman yeah. yesterday, he came yeah. back and did a show, yes, like, you know, yeah, constantly yeah. on a plane. It's hard to get in that creative zone and produce music in between. So I mean, the aim yeah. is to try and take a bit of a break at some point to really get back in the studio. Yeah. But um, other, other passions, other interests, cricket is one of our shared, uh, yeah. I mean, he's a hardcore fan of Sri Lanka, I'm, I'm also a hardcore fan. So cricket, I, I try and play when I can. Um, Who's I your watch favorite a lot. cricketer? Of all time? Mm. Uh, Sana, Jaisura. Mm. Controversial, yeah. but yeah, we always yeah. probably. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Asalanka is your favorite now, right? Now is my, my favorite. Asalanka is my favorite. Asalanka. All time. What about current? Not all time. Current team, all Asalanka. time. Who's your favorite? I, all time. All time. If I look at uh, yeah, Sanat and then then uh, Arvind also. Yeah, Arvind as well. Up there. there. Yeah. yeah. That '96 team for me is like yeah. the holy grail. Who's your current favorite? Current favorite, I would say also Asalanka because Ravi's guy, right? Ravi's manager <laughs> half the team. <laughs> So Asalanka is very, very, again, very humble. You know, good, good, good guy, and I think he's you know, this last, I mean, last few, few games he's been our yeah. kind of our, our best. Probably the, the final he was our highest score, right? No, yeah, yeah. Not the final, so the semi-final. Yeah. Semi-final. So um, yeah, Asalanka, I'd say. I mean, they're all great. I mean, I, I love Sri Lanka yeah. as a team. So mm. fingers crossed for the World Cup. World Cup. Uh, since time is of essence, you know, two of you, uh, I know, Uncle. Fondly known as Uncle Pia, right, <laughs> in the industry. Um, how important is it to be humble? Two of you all have established yourselves in the industry and from what I know, uh, everyone talks of the gypsies as very humble. The family is very humble, mm. very established and all of that, so are you. Mm. How important is it to not allow the fame get to you? Um, yeah, I think uh, to be humble, yeah, I think uh, I mean, if you're not humble, you can't go too far, one thing is like that, but uh, I mean, that's that comes naturally sometimes. It, it's not a forced thing. We are generally, we are friendly with a lot of people generally. Yeah. I mean, total, mainly I don't uh, see like why, why you don't, why shouldn't, we, why shouldn't you be humble? Because you can be nice to people, then, then yeah. people, I mean, this is a music field, you know, it's also like a Connecting, connecting people. people. Mm. It's a people. We are as a museum. We are, we are whatever we are doing. We are popular. Whatever with people. Yeah. So yeah. if if we if we do, if we are not with people, you mm. can't go, go too far. You have to That's be true. with people. Mm. I agree. I think. I mean, we are obviously very humble, as I as I mentioned before. I mean, you know, to allow me to enter on on, the, on this song with him. But I think the key also is that you know, in this industry, you can be here one minute and you can be here the next minute. So yeah. if you are at your peak and you are treat, treat people badly. When you're down here, yeah. so I think there's there's always a, you know it's always a rise and rise yeah. and fall. Yeah, there's always songs that do well. Next song might be a flop. Yeah. Mm. You don't know, right? So I think that there's always always best to be you know to be grounded, stay even. You know, don't get yeah. too high, don't get too low, and be kind of balanced in life. I think that's that's the key. So I think that uh, takes a while to learn as an artist. Yeah. Obviously, the highs are crazy yeah. when you go on stage. People are chanting your name, and you got this excitement and this adrenaline, and, and then you kind of come home and you take the dishes out of the washing machine or something, or something like that. And you, you, it's it kind of like, there's a very extreme high and high and low in music. Mm. Yeah. But I think, um, you know, I think people people around you are key. Also, your family, your friends. I'm sure you, you have your, yeah, you know, yeah, you have yeah, your wife and your yeah, kids yeah. and you know, having people who are, who ground you in, in real life, not in 
stardom. Yeah. I think that that is the key. I, I think having the same, I mean, I've had the same friends from school, still my best friends. I had, my friends in my industry are, are friends, but I would say yeah. they're not as close as my actual home, like yeah. home friends. I think I'm a family. I think my, my mom and my dad and my, my family kind of keep me grounded. grounded. Yeah, they tell me, you know, they didn't, don't, 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 don't treat me like I'm anything. That's Special, true. It's important so. that we retain our values as well and exactly. integrate in the society. Yeah, I think family is very important. Family is very important because as Arjun said, I also totally agree with him. Because on stage and that's a different world altogether. Yeah, exactly. But the thing what, we, what keeps you going is when you are with the family mm. and as he says, your close friends from school. Because they are just, they, they don't care whether it's PR or they, they exactly. are just another friend. They, they, they know also, they know the exist. real you, the yeah, real, real you. you real yeah, you. exactly. So, because also the industry is also quite cutthroat as well. So exactly. things can yeah. go wrong. So yeah. it's important mm. that family yeah. stays important, right? You, right you, you, you should have friends around you who are friends with you, not because of who you are, but because yeah. of who, like, well, who you are, but you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. you know, so I think the key is to have people who know the real you and you can relax around them and be yourself and not have to be yeah. an act. And, and because it's as, uh, at the end, when you come home, you are just another person. That's all. That's true. You are, That's you are, true. You are, you are oh. not exactly. Yeah, just another person. You are just another person. Exactly. Mm. What, 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 do watching or whatever you do, yeah. do everything. So you are yeah. at home. You are just another person. That's all. Yeah. And that like is how very important. Your thoughts. Mm. Yeah. Us, you know, in sync, just like the song. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I I missed a question for you, Arjun. Mm. Um, okay. If someone wants to get in touch with you, what is the process? The man behind you, <laughs> Ravi, Ravi De Silva. <laughs> he has to filter. Who, we might who have is to it drop though? His I, need, I need to know who it is first of all. I have a, I have lots of messages with the ah, same question. Same question. Okay. No, don't in, in touch out. regarding what? No, Ravi's doing work, a good or? job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, Ravi De Silva on Instagram or Facebook. You can find his his number is there. You can WhatsApp him and he will check. Do the, we have to put his number or too exposed? <laughs> <laughs> you can ask him, Ravi. You want to put your number? Put your number. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. So, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So, time is catching up, like I mentioned. Let's hear your take home message to everyone watching us tonight. Let's start with you, Pia. Mm. Yeah. I mean, what, what sort of message? Anything positive you want to say to anyone? You know, it could be uh, something uplifting, yeah. your words of wisdom for anyone watching us. What I have to say is like, uh, main thing is uh, in life, uh, we come across so many obstacles and mm. whatever you do, sometimes it, you might not get there as, mu as much as you want, but yeah. not to get discouraged, keep going at it and, and whatever you do, you have to work hard. Yes. Nothing comes easy, nothing comes easy. We, even a lot of people say that we, whoever who has come to a certain level, yeah. if you talk to them, they will always say they have worked very hard. So, and not to be disappointed by not getting something that you have 100 percent. Sometimes you think, okay, this is going to really work. Or, I mean, not only music. I mean, other other yeah. things also. Yeah, right? Definitely. But uh, in life, but main thing is to naturally you will get disappointed. Mm -hmm. But the thing is to keep going, keep trying more, keep going. Yeah. Mm. That's the main thing uh, to do. Otherwise, uh, you are going to be. Uh, you are going to be, I mean, you you're can't. Be you lost. can't. Yeah, you can't. Be, you're going to be lost. You shouldn't be like that. Are yeah, you? I agree with exactly what he said. I think. I mean, I think dream big. I mean, for me, I, I this song I used to play as a kid in my bedroom, and now I'm here with with the original artist. You know, with the recent song. I think they, they, you know, dream big, but also at the same time, yeah, don't get disillusioned when things don't don't go wrong. I think the key is to be like, like I said before, be even kill like try and find peace rather than chasing highs try and chase peace and like you know stability as well so i think that that is also important in life you know obviously the highs are great but the highs will wear off and then you, you, you chase the next high what's what's the next big thing and so i think there's yeah. the key is to be at peace with yourself and be able to be you know to understand yourself and you know have people around you who you love that's the main thing is, is to be able to you know be around people who, who, who care about you and you care about them and that's it i think that's that's the key to to life. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. brilliant. So I want to thank the two of you for joining us today, uh, Pial Pereira yeah. and Arjun. I was mm. told to say that, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Said well. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules uh, to talk to us today on ITN and Prime TV and Vasundam TV as well. And wishing the two of you nothing but the very best. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank and you it's a brilliant song, may I add. Yeah. And mm. 
If you want to listen to the song, it's available on YouTube and all platforms. So do not hesitate in listening to the song and enjoying a beautiful rendition and a wonderful classic on an all-time favorite in Sri Lankan music. And uh, that brings us to the end of yet another edition of the Spotlight. Join me again next Monday at 9 p.m. for a story that will ignite change. Stay safe and have a lovely evening ahead.